Hello, my beautiful souls. Today is October the 26th. Can you believe like next week is going to be November? Like November already. Freaking mind blown. Um, I just wanted to film, I know I'm like all glammed up and I am not even going anywhere today. Like other than to the store, but sometimes your girl just wants to look friggin' a little unhomeless. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, so I, this video is going to be short and sweet. I'm not going to make it long. I just wanted to kind of vent about something, I guess, to you guys. Um, let's just, I just want to talk about like mom shaming. It is so hard already to be a mom and the things, like being a mom is hard as is. We're not handed a manual or a guide or like no, every kid, all four kids of mine are different. Like drastically from one to another to another it is being a parent is hard like being a mom is hard you have you're suspected to have this perfect image and dress your kids a certain way and feed them a certain things and you know it's bad like if they don't want to eat veggies or it's like you're a bad parent because you're not pushing it or you're not forcing them or you're not whatever being a mom is hard enough we should all be uplifting each other and being there for each other and helping one another versus judging one another um i don't personally i don't like being told like you should be doing it this way okay if i ask you then by all means give me your input but i don't like being told what to do i was a teen mom i've learned i've been a mom for 14 and a half years now 14 years i'm still not perfect i still don't know some days from the other like i still don't know how to handle certain situations that's just part of being a mom but at the end of the day who are you to judge me and who are i mean god made me the way i am am i perfect no but not by any flipping means do i cuss way too much absolutely do i drink wine sometimes absolutely do i be silly with my friends sometimes absolutely like do I dress like I'm a teenager still? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Did I just shave half my head? Absolutely. Does that make me less of a mom? No. Do I have tattoo sleeves everywhere? Mm-hmm. Do I have, well, I don't have piercings really anymore. Does it make me any less of a mom? No, I still love my kids and I would still give them every, like the clothes off my back. Do I tell them no sometimes and then I feel bad because they're upset? Yep. It's just part of being a mom, okay? And we're all in this together and we're all trying to figure out like how to be the best mom. There is no best mom but or perfect mom, but just how to do what's best for our children. We're all just slipping through this journey together. So we should uplift each other versus judging. We already judge and put enough hard work, hard thoughts on ourself, let alone having somebody else putting hard thoughts on you or judging you. Nobody is perfect, okay? Nobody, nobody, not even you. I know that there are so many people that I went to school with um, that have judged me or have said sly comments about me um, only simply because I was a teen mom, but that doesn't make me any less of a person than you are. Just because you start having kids now doesn't mean that I'm any less of a person at all like I think I'm a damn good mom I bought my own house like I have four kids yeah but most of them are straight-a students and they're smart and they're going places and they're um so what I was saying um just because I had kids young doesn't mean that I, like my mom, my parents took care of them. They did not. Did they help me when I had to work? Yeah, but I took care of them. I got a job. Like, I've strived my very best and done my, like, did I plan my life being that way? No, but I've done what it's taken to be a mom, like, and a good person. And just because I have tattoos or just because I had kids young or just because I got divorced, in the past like it doesn't make me any less of a person than you we all have our own battles and we all have our own struggles and we all deal with different things but it doesn't make us any less of a person and the fact that we have so many people out there that are quick to judge one another because they have no flipping idea of the stuff that they've been through in the past who are you then 
Like, how does that make you better than me? For you to judge me so that makes you better than me? What's, what kind of picture is that there? I mean, I don't, I don't even know. But I'm just, with that being said, like, it's just, it's so hard to be a mom anymore and to just, you know, I've been that mom that has walked into the school and I'm like, sh doesn't like, should I even wear this outfit? Because I'm walking into the middle school right now or should I get this haircut or should I color my hair this way because other parents will um, shame me for it? And that's just BS. At the end of the day, like you're your own person. You make your own choices. If you like it, okay, then do it. Like, why does that make you any like, who cares what everybody else thinks? If you do what everybody else wants you to do, you're never going to be happy. It just stresses me out, frustrates me to the max. And on top of that, when there's a stay-at-home mom, there's even more tension. Like, people, you know, 30, 40 years ago, 50, 60, whatever, years ago, moms always stayed home. They always took care of their kids. Now, someday, sometimes nowadays, dads take care of their kids, too. And that's freaking great. Like, once upon a time, Danny stayed home. We didn't have Ryder yet, but Danny stayed home. He didn't have a job. I had the job, and he took care of the kids, and that was that was fantastic. That was fine. Now I have the luxury to be able to stay home. Are we rich? Absolutely freaking not. But by the time we were paying for daycare, and we had issues with daycares and sitters, um, so I'd have to call into work or miss work, and then my paychecks would be even shorter. It just wasn't worth the stress. And by the time I would get paid, it wouldn't. It wasn't worth the money um, that I was making. So we decide for me to stay home. Now, I am truly blessed, but that doesn't mean that I just sit on my ass and do nothing, okay? So the fact that people, like, comment, they don't comment to me, but I saw them comment on other moms' stuff. Um, oh, like, she just gets to sit home. Like, must be nice to get to sit home all day. And, you know, I've even, like, me and my husband have had this talk, and I was like, you know, like, I'll go be the breadwinner if you want to make sure the laundry is washed, make sure the kids go to all their appointments, make sure they're picked up from school because some of them are in student council and band and dance and this and that. You want to make sure all that is taken care of. You want to make sure all the bills are um, sent out on time and covered on time. You want to make sure the dog's taken care of. You want to make sure that you sit down with Ryder daily and do a little bit of school pages every day, um, that the house is picked up, that the yard is mowed, that the laundry is done and put away, that dinner is in the crock pot and cooking or on the stove cooking by five o'clock like do you want to do all that stuff and he's like no way like that sounds way more stressful than my own job so being a stay-at-home mom is a luxury like if my kids are sick I get to take care of them if you know they if I get a phone call from the school like I get to go get them if I get to spend my days with Ryder and I get to enjoy time with him until he starts school my last baby and I you know, get to be in my pajamas all day. Hold on, Ryder. So in that luxury, yeah, I am. Okay, hold on just a minute. He wants me to change the TV channel. But so in that luxury. Okay, hold on. In that luxury, like, I'm very blessed and very lucky and I'm happy that I get to be in my home because I'm not a social person and I don't like people. Exactly. Why am I? So I get to, like, I'm very happy and proud, and I'm truly blessed how hard my husband does work but with, for our family. But with that being said, like, I do truly work my ass off at home still. There's many days where I'm on my feet all day long. We're not taking, like, we don't live off the government. We pay for our own stuff, our own bills, our own kids. We raise them. We pay for them. We're not getting free help. Um, so why should be, like, why should families be looked down upon because there is one parent staying home and that just works for them it doesn't mean anything about them it doesn't mean the one parent that's staying home is being lazy so the fact that like we shame people for this is just beyond me i could see a single mom that's staying home and choosing not to work um and living off the government that is not okay but to me like that's just my personal opinion i'm not shaming anybody i'm not judging anybody i'm the last person that will ever judge anybody but I, I, I mean, I don't think that that's okay. I was a single mom once. I made shit for pay, but I worked my ass off to cover my bills. Now Toby's doing this. Watch out. 
so at the end of the day, all I'm going to say is that we should uplift one another, we should love one another, we should help one another, be there for one another. It's hardy hard being a mom and a parent, and the last thing that we should ever do is judge one another. Um, you never know what the person's day or night, what they went through. You never know what kind of attitude maybe their kid gave them that day. You never know their financial st stability um, or situation. You never know nothing unless they open up and they tell you. And even at that, like, you're still not living in that moment. So you have no idea. So the last thing you should ever be doing is judging somebody. So that is why I have very little friends. And that is why I don't talk to a lot of moms. And that is why I don't trust a lot of people. And it's just full on, like, there's just so many harsh people and judgmental people out there. And who are you to judge? If you're one of those people that I just talked about, or you have to sit back and think about it, then maybe you need to look in the mirror and you need to ask yourself why you're doing that. Why? So I'm going to cut this video off. I said it was going to be short and sweet and it came a little bit longer than I wanted it to and I keep getting interrupted. But I just wanted to open up and talk about this. So, I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, nobody is perfect. I've made my many mistakes in life, but so has everybody else. We're all human, we're all just trying to live this crazy world. We're all just trying to do our best as parents. So stop shaming, okay? Okay, all right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna get right or snack, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.